This video is about finding area between two polar curves. Recall in the last video we talked about how to find the area inside of a polar curve using the formula A equals the integral from alpha to beta of one half r squared d theta. And the trig identities needed for this section are sine squared of theta equals one half minus cosine of two theta over two and cosine squared of theta equals one half plus cosine of two theta over two. Our example asks us to find the area of the region that lies inside the circle r equals three sine theta and outside the cardioid r equals one plus sine theta. So the first thing I want to do is graph the two equations so that I have a visual of what I'm trying to do. So when we graph the circle r equals 3 sine theta, we see that it's a circle that has diameter 3 and it is sitting on top of the x-axis and um, it is symmetric over the y-axis. The cardioid is also symmetric over the y-axis, r equals 1 plus sine theta, and it makes basically an upside-down um, rounded heart shape. So what we're looking for is the area between the cardioid and the circle. So what we'll need to do, we'll need to find the points of intersection, or actually the angles of intersection, not the points. And what we'll do is we'll take the area inside the circle, and then what we'll do is we will subtract the area inside the cardioid, bounded by those um, rays going from the origin to the points of intersection. So area inside the circle minus the area inside the cardioid, and that will give us the area between the cardioid and the circle. So for the bounds, we want to find the intersection of r equals 3 sine theta and r equals 1 plus sine theta. So we set the two equations equal to each other, 3 sine of theta equals 1 plus sine of theta, subtract sine of theta from both sides, and we get 2 sine of theta equals 1. Divide both sides by 2, and we have sine of theta equals 1 half. Now we have to think back to our unit circle and figure out where is sine of theta equal to 1 half. So we know we have the points on our unit circle square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. So that gives us theta equals pi over 6. And then in the second quadrant, we have the point negative square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. And that angle is 7 pi over 6. So those are going to be the bounds for our area integral. So now the area between two polar curves is going to be one half times the integral from pi over six to five pi over six, because those are the bounds we just found, of the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared times d theta. So now we just need to plug in our functions that we were given. So the area between the two curves is equal to one half integral from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6 of 3 sine of theta squared and that square should be on the outside So we fixed it so the squared is outside of the parentheses surrounding 3 sine of theta. So we have the antiderivative of 3 sine of theta quantity squared minus parentheses 1 plus sine of theta quantity squared. And that is all times d theta. 
So now what we want to do is we want to um, simplify this algebraically before we try to take the antiderivative. So I'm going to go ahead and square both of them. So I have 1 half integral from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6 of 9 sine squared theta minus, and now I have to FOIL out 1 plus sine of theta squared. So I have 1 plus 2 sine of theta plus sine squared of theta, and then that entire um, expression is times d theta. Now I combine my like terms. I have 9 sine squared theta, and I have minus sine squared theta. So this new integral becomes 1 half times the integral from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6 of 8 sine squared theta minus 2 sine theta minus 1. So I distributed the negative and combined my like terms. Now I'll use my trig identity for sine squared of theta. So my new integral becomes 1 half integral from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6 of 8 times the quantity 1 half minus cosine 2 theta over 2, so that's just directly from the trig identity for sine squared theta, minus 2 sine theta minus 1, all times d theta. All right, I want to simplify a little more before I take the antiderivative. So I'm going to distribute the 8, so I have 1 half antiderivative from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6 of 4 minus 4 cosine of 2 theta minus 2 sine of theta minus 1, all times d theta. Now I'll combine my like terms and distribute the 1 half. So I get the integral from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6 of 3 halves minus 2 cosine of 2 theta minus sine of theta, all times d theta. And now I can actually take the antiderivative. So we've gotten to the point where we've done all the algebra, we just have to do the antiderivative. So we have 3 halves theta minus sine of 2 theta plus cosine of theta evaluated from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6. So we plug in our upper bound, 3 halves times 5 pi over 6 minus sine of 2 times 5 pi over 6 plus cosine of 5 pi over 6. So that's my f of b, and now I want to subtract my f of a. So remember, when you're doing the antiderivative, you do f of b minus f of a. So my f of a is 3 halves times pi over 6 minus sine of 2 times pi over 6 plus cosine of pi over 6. And now I simplify. So that gives me 5 pi over 4. And now the 2 times 5 pi over 6 is equivalent to 5 pi over 3. And we know that sine of 5 pi over 3 is negative square root of 3 over 2 but I'm already subtracting it, so this will be plus square root of 3 over 2. Cosine of 5 pi over 6 is minus square root of 3 over 2. And then I have minus my lower bounds, so parentheses pi over 4. 2 times pi over 6 is equivalent to pi over 3, and we know that sine of pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2. So minus square root of 3 over 2 plus square root of 3 over 2 for the cosine pi over 6. Now the square roots of 3 over 2 all cancel each other out. So I'm left with 5 pi over 4 minus pi over 4, which is pi square units. So the area between the circle and the cardioid is pi. So just remember when you're setting it up, Find your bounds first, then use the formula area equals one half times the integral using your bounds that you found 
of the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared d theta.